Today I will show you how to clean and oil your single traditional 2263. You will require a brush, uh, it is available in the machine, a screwdriver, and another screwdriver that's already available with the machine. This is part of the machine, and of course, the machine oil. Try to use the best as you can, small piece of cloth. It can be cotton, it can be a soft material. We are going to start by cleaning this area of the machine. For that, we have to open it using a screwdriver. I'm using this straight head screwdriver to open it up. You can also lie, the, lie down the machine. It is easier to open it up. I'm doing as is. Careful not to lose the screw, it is very small. So once we have opened, this part of the machine we are going to clean it thoroughly maybe it's not visible uh, in the video but uh, there is a, there are tiny uh, pieces of dust here and there and you need to clean it thoroughly after cleaning it with the brush I'm using a cloth to clean it up clean all the tiny dust particles You also need to clean the foot area and now after we have thoroughly cleaned it we are going to oil it these two points are where we have to put a drop of oil this one and the upper one make sure you have opened the oil bottle and a, one drop here and a tiny one drop here now we are going to move the wheel up and down a few times so the uh, oil is thoroughly distributed. Clean the excess oil from down below so it doesn't ruin the cloth you're working on, you're stitching on. Now it's time to put back the case. Again it's more easy if you lie your machine down. Now, tighten the screw. And this part is done. Now we are going to clean the uh, part which is below the foot. We are going to open it up. For that we need this screwdriver. You can also use the other one. But this is already available with the machine. We are going to open it up. And open the case. And in order to remove it, we have to remove this case uh, uh, of the machine. Remove it. You have to slide it down. And then open the case below the foot. And this is the place where uh, there is a lot of thread and other dust particles stuck. And you have to clean it thoroughly. First we are going to clean the case. And now we are going to move on to here. And now you can already see how much dust is there. You have to clean it up, otherwise it can clog your machine. Now the schedule for cleaning the machine depends on how many projects you are doing on, on which fabric you are working on. For example, if you are working on the uh, with the canvas fabric, you have to clean it after every project and also that's also the case if you are uh, working with polyester sheets or making quilts, uh, it's, it's 
a good option to clean it after every project because tiny tiny pieces stuck in the get stuck in the machine now clean it thoroughly after using the brush you can use uh, the cloth piece to remove any other dust which is left Now it's time for the bobbin case. We are going to remove the bobbin bobbin case. Now let's remove the bobbin case first and we are going to clean it first. It's also dirty. It can be seen but there are tiny 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 dust pieces here and there. First with the brush and then with the piece of cloth. Now we have to remove uh, the pieces of the bobbin case. You have to push these uh, two levers outwards, and this uh, there will be two pieces. Uh, one is this. You just have to make sure you arrange the pieces on a separate table, as in a sequence uh, in which you remove them. It will be easy for you to put, uh, place them back in the case. First, clean it thoroughly, like this. and then place it in the sequence in which you have to place it back and then you remove this in the same sequence and in the same position it will make it very easy for you all to put it all back together and it's not difficult you just hold it there and it goes back in the place you have to clean it thoroughly with the brush and the cloth whatever is suitable for you it just needs to be cleaned going see i have placed them in the same sequence and now we will place it back in now we are going to clean the inner part and there will be many threads and dust you will see coming out of it it's preferable to clean the machine after every 3 um, months max you can oil it after one 3 uh, months max and clean it it's better to clean it up after every project or if not then maximum 6 months now we are going to put everything back and then oil it Place our oil at the place where it all moves. Oh, I have put it a bit too much. It's okay. You have to move the wheel so that the oil is distributed evenly all around, and then clean the excess oil thoroughly. I move it. Move the wheel a bit more. and now place everything back together first of all we are going to clean excess oil and then we are going to place the area around the foot back 
place the screws back in place, tighten them. Place the foot back, place the case back and that's it. You have successfully cleaned and oiled your machine and you will see a noticeable difference in your sewing process. It's much more smoother after it. It's Good luck with the sewing project. Bye.